Hello everyone and welcome to this Oxid eShop screencast. Over the next few minutes I'll introduce you to one of the most exciting new features in the upcoming Oxid eShop version 4.6, downloadable products. You can offer any files you wish for download, including mp3 music files, videos or software like apps or games. How does it work and what do you as a merchant need to do to enable this feature? The first step is to enable the feature via the administration panel. Go to Core Settings, Settings, Shop Frontend, and enable the option for downloadable products. Then save the new configuration. While in the administration section, the second step is to visit the Other Settings configuration panel where you can adjust the folder location for downloadable products. You can provide a path to a folder outside the shop's installation directory, but remember that this is only possible if your PHP server configuration allows it. Once the settings are enabled, you can begin adding downloadable products. The process is similar to adding a real physical product with some minor differences. Let's quickly walk through the steps, assuming that you want to add an MP3 music file for download. First, add the new product and give it a title and a price. Then, in the Extended tab, check Intangible Product and Free Shipping. With Oxid eShop 4.6, you'll see that we have added a new tab named File. The second step is to use this tab to upload the digital product file. Once the file is uploaded, you can also rename it. Notice that purchase only selection. If you check this, it means that your customer can only download the digital product after the order has been successfully paid. Other business models are supported as well. For example, you can allow invoices as a payment method or you can use the shopping cart system as a pure download platform. Once a file has been uploaded, you can define a new category for this file if you don't already have one. This is an optional step. I'm doing it here since we don't have a valid category for this in our demo shop. You can also assign a different VAT value to this category. Once the category is set up, assign the new product to this category. This is the final step. Now we are all done with the administration section. It's time to put ourselves in the shoes of a visitor to the website and see the new feature in action. To do this, as a first step, go back to your store's homepage. You'll see the new category that you just added. If you dive into it, you'll also see the new product in the listing. Click the product name to see the product details page. The next step is to add the item to the shopping cart and begin checking out. To keep things simple for this screencast, I'll use cash in advance as my payment method. Proceed through the various checkout steps and confirm the order. Once you are done, visit the My Account section. All purchase downloads will be stored here in a section called My Downloads. Look in this section and you'll find a note that the order has not yet been completed. This is because the Purchased Only feature was activated. Therefore, the download will only be available once the order is marked as paid. When the shop owner checks the orders and marks the download order as paid by inserting the current date, the file will become downloadable by, by the purchaser. If you as a purchaser check the My Download section again, you'll find the file is downloadable. It's also interesting to take a look at the file download URL. Notice that it contains a unique temporary security token that is valid for a specific time. Every time you come back to My Downloads area, you will receive a similar token. This is a security feature to ensure that third parties cannot illegally download the file by posting the URL on another platform like forums or sending it via email. Thanks for watching this screencast and have fun with this new feature.